All right, what's up, guys? So, iDubs has been trending a good portion of the day on Twitter. And I clicked, so I clicked on it. I wanted to see overall why, because I'm like, I haven't heard about iDubs in a while. So, I uh, clicked on it. There's this video that's going viral of him where he's talking on how he interacted with a fan. Um, or I don't know if it was just one particular fan or uh, multiple fans where the interactions were be it, it would be uncomfortable with most people you know and that's why i'm doing this video to talk to all not just some but all content creators when you make series upon series of videos and you put out this message this character whatever you want to call it whatever you're doing in the video you have to be careful with what you say and do in videos and I think one of the things that uh, iDubs that he has done in his videos is uh, say the N-word. Now, I'm not going to have hatred towards this man. I'm not going to, you know, look at him any differently than I already have looked at him and stuff. You know, it's stuff like that where it's not going to make me lose sleep at night, so I'm chilling. But there are people in this world where they do take offense to that type of stuff they they overall um yeah they just they can't like look at you it, it's gonna pretty much like take a lot from you to you know like get their forgiveness and at the end of the day you know whether you try to or not but i i do feel like though that um it, it's harder in life when you carry on the way that you carry on especially as a content creator like i was just talking with that with a friend the other day where uh, her videos that she used to upload where she doesn't she took out um down a lot of those videos because she didn't want um like because she started a job and so she overall didn't want uh people to you know to see that and stuff and with me i was like hey like that's why i'm like with whatever the videos i post like i actually mean that stuff so people can look at you know the things that i say and do and they can take offense to it or not you know, I've had people get offended by the fact that I've just done reaction videos. Videos ain't got nothing to do with them. Just me simply doing a try not to laugh challenge. I've had people get offended by that. My gaming videos, whatever. But the thing is, like, I guess speaking for myself as a content creator, I know what to say and what not to say. I know if something's going to be a touchy subject or if it's not going to be a touchy subject. So that's why a lot of times, like when things trend, when people get to talking about stuff, I'm like, I had to sit down and ask that question, can I talk about this? You know, what would, how, what would I do if I were to see somebody talking on that subject? How would that make me feel? Would I feel uncomfortable? Do I feel like it is a good idea? So that's why a lot of times, like, you know, there's things that, you know, I think about, but I don't talk on it. Because I'm like, nah, it's just, you know, it's, it's stuff where I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be uh, content creating, um, yeah, friendly and stuff, so, yeah, that's why, I like, yeah, just a lot of times, like, I'll avoid jokes, I'll avoid just, because uh, it's just, it's the whole, like, message that you put out, like, with me and the audience that I'm attracting, I don't want them to get the wrong idea, and then they go out and about carrying on in certain ways, where it's like, you know, they gonna find themselves, uh, you know, either fighting for their lives or, you know, um, having people making plans like for their afterlife. Cause I'm like, it's, yeah, it's just, there's people out there where it's like, they'll go and for an example, the pranking videos where it's like, you have one YouTuber that he'll do the pranking videos. And now you got all these different people out there where it's like, Oh, let me go and walk up on this two 300 buff dude <laughs> that look like that he bench presses freaking cows for a living yeah let me go up to him and his girlfriend and try to get his girlfriend's number next thing you know yeah this guy's in the hospital fighting for his life because he untook the meanest uppercut of his <laughs> of his whole life but that's what i mean by like people you have to be careful by the videos like that you put out there and stuff like because if you put out the wrong videos then yeah you know your audience is going to be all like oh well t -Moss boss, he, yeah, he, he's done this, he can, that's, like, why with me, I'm, like, whatever videos I'm doing, okay, gaming videos, I'm, like, you can't go wrong with a gaming video, a reaction video, you can't go wrong with a reaction video, I mean, yeah, if you just 
avoid the guidelines and you go out and say and do some crazy stuff, then yeah, you know, then that's, hey, you can't put that blame on me. That's on you, fam. So you just like, I just think that people, it's like, you got to be smart when you're doing something because if you do things the wrong way yeah then it's gonna be you know it's definitely gonna be some effects to that cause so yeah it's like you have to you have to really really be careful as a content creator or just anybody when it's like you posting something out there you don't know who's gonna watch that video you don't know how well or you know yeah overall how well that video is gonna do and then you post this video like i was saying like the pranks and stuff you post that and then somebody else they see it next thing you know you hearing the story all like oh a uh, rising youtuber gets shot and killed at a mall today because he was trying to pick up some you know former soldiers uh wife and so yeah it's 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 just it's things like that where it's like you have to you really really have to be careful with the uh content that you post because yeah it's like you know there's there's and that's like why with the message that i try to put out there with you know my fan base is like i don't want you guys to look at me as a king or a god or feel like you have to agree with everything that i say like i'm the thing is this i make videos but i don't expect people to agree or disagree whatever i just make the video just to say hey i did this video so if i come out and i say um freaking i don't know i hate nike shoes or something i don't want people to be all like oh yeah team Moss boss he hates nike shoes so i hate nike shoes no if you hate if you hate nike shoes have your reason to hate nike shoes but don't piggyback off of my reason for all that I, I got a gang of nike shoes i was just saying that as an example but but no i'm saying though like if um like no don't go based off of what i'm saying or what i'm doing and because it's like that's why because like the times the times where i've gotten into it with people where it's like yeah you could tell like how impressionable fans certain fans can be and i'm like i don't want fans like that i want it to be where we can sit down and have a conversation about something you have your point of view on it and i have my point of view on it now there have been times where i have reached that you know that point and stuff where uh yeah i've talked to well i can't necessarily call them fans but there have been times where you know i guess if they want to consider themselves a fan but no, there's been times where I've had disagreements and um, and it's disagreements where it's like it's it's offensive. You know, it's like you you can't go around just telling people that and things, but it's it's overall offensive. And um, yeah, it's like I had disagreements, but it's like, you know, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Even if it's racism or whatever it is, it's like if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But I'm just saying it's like don't go out in public talking like that because like, you know, even though it's like you're looking at it as like, oh, well, I'm not trying to, you, you know, like well, I'm not into, you know, like being a content creator. So I'll just say and do whatever I want. All right. You can. If, if that is your choice, you can very well do that, but you have to brace yourself for the day because it, it will happen, but you have to brace yourself for the day where the wrong person hears it that you think that oh they're gonna be okay with how I feel on something. And that's what I mean like you know like just not everything needs to be said and done. but the wrong person is going to hear what you say and they're gonna confront you over that type of stuff. Now you have to come up with the best answer possible, all right? to calm this person down because it's going to be the wrong somebody whether it's somebody that's you know yeah be bench pressing cows for a living or they got a weapons license so i'm saying it's like people be careful with what you say all right that goes to content creators that goes to people that don't want to be content creators goes out to everybody this video is rated e for everybody all right so just be careful with what you say and do and you won't have any issues. And it's like the amount of times. And I feel like that. I'll post this video. And people are going to try to argue with me. And be like, well, I should be allowed to say what and do whatever I want. Like, like I said, you are. You are allowed to say and do whatever you want. But you are going to have to prepare yourself for the day where you say it to the wrong somebody. And they're not playing games with you. So, anyways. Um, but, yeah. And that being said, I will talk to you all later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And peace.